Hello, everybody. Hey, friends. It's Jim. And Dave. Beer, Beer Review. Who the hell is that? This is the church. This is the steeple. <laughs> you open it up, and here's all the people. I thought you were doing something to disgust me. Well, that was earlier. <laughs> I'll show you where my mind's That's before at. you got here. I have to show you where my mind's at. Uh, we have something from Dave. Omi Gang. Brewery. What's on tap? Omi Gang. Omi Gang. Omi Gang. Omi Gang. O M M E G A N G. Omi Gang. From Coopertown, New York. This is an Abbey Ale. More Abbey like Ale. a wine than it is a beer, actually. Really? Well, I saw Abbey, I thought it was going to be like a church. This thing. rich this spice profile and deep flavors like Abbey Ale, great with roasted meats and, bro and bruised and braised foods. It complements rich, strong flavors like red wine. Well, I'll tell you what it says here on the bottle, my friend. It says, Omi Gang Abbey Ale is directly influenced by the patience and wisdom of the Benedictines. Whoever seeks divine union, a pretty high standard for a ale, but good one, we think. Beer, burgundy color, rich and malty, enjoy with savory. It's got a cork in it. Ooh, that, that one, one don't have a cork in it. No. Enjoy with savory dishes, such as cheeses, and almost every dessert. This is part of the Duval family of fine Belgian ales. Belgian! Pour, pour slowly, so as not to disturb the yeast as I hold the bottle sideways, which you can't see because of the cat. It's best from a chalice or goblet. Uh, okay. That's what it says here, best from a chalice or goblet. You want to go upstairs and get some goblets? I don't know where a goblet is. The goblets are on there. Yeah, they're... That's a wine glass. It's a goblet. It's a wine glass. All right, I'll we'll just use these. Then. Okay, good. So. I'm good. We're not. Uh, we're not. Too I've good. got all kinds of stuff. This, this is a good website here. Is it? All right. What else does it say? Yeah. Okay. Because Lord knows I can't read this dark font on this dark paper. That was brilliant design, by the way. Um, what we have here is, um, okay. So more information. When you That's first more. encounter the many layers of flavor and aroma from our Abbey Ale, you may begin to rejoice in a certain kind of perfection. Just as the tapis, Trappist monks who invented this style did hundreds of years ago. All of the exotic spices and additions in our version of this doublet were destined to give our flagship beer its distinctive aromatic quality and dry finish. In addition, to mention to a style already rich in monastic, mon like, a, like, a mon like, like a monastery, like a monastic tradition. Perhaps you'll remind how all the delicacies in life have added up to this moment. You may even feel complimented to dance a bit. I'm not going to dance, people. All right, maybe a little bit. I'll be sensitive if I do it later. If I do it later, I'm drinking more. Um, oh, hold on. There's more. There is more. Uh, malts are Pils Abner Munich Aroma. Hops are Syrian Goldings Balt. There is some uh, yeast on the bottom of that. Well, you got to stir it around a little bit. Well, then you're not supposed to, are you? You're supposed to get down to like three quarters, not, not seven eighths. It says and stir four, it so you don't it. disturb it. They want you to well, you got to disturb some of it, otherwise it still stays on the bottom, just doesn't get used. Well, that's what they said to do. Um, ABV is eight point two. <whistles> IBU is only twenty. I love you. Okay, uh, original gangster. That's why it's gravity. Eighteen point two. Finishing gravity. Sorry. Fourteen point one. Hot beer. Uh, yeast is Oma Gang House Yeast. House Yeast. Spices are coriander, sweet orange peel, star, antis, licorice root, and cumin. Wait a minute. See, say those again. Cumin. No, before that. Licorice root? All the way to the beginning. Start over. Star, arisa, orange peel. Ah. What else? That's it. Did you say coriander? I'll go over everything, okay? Coriander. Ah. Sweet orange peel. Oh. Star anise, uh. licorice root, mm. cumin. Yeah, really? Cumin. Is that like, uh, what's that thing? Uh, um, school? Cumin? 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 That's cumin. Cumin. Right. Cumin. All right, what about the color, buddy? It's reddish. It's very dark. It looks unfiltered, doesn't it? It's reddish color. Yeah, very brown. Very dark on the SRM scale. Mm. Mm, smells good. It smells like an abbey. Smells like egg. wine. It has some fruity characteristics like that wine. you might expect of a Belgian. Smells like wine. 
Smells like wine. Actually, that almost smells like a quad. Smells like a wine. Cheers, but it's a double. Now he knows all about quads. Well, it's a double. Oh, excellent. Tastes like a Belgian double. And the fact that it doesn't have, uh, it has all those seasonings I don't like is amazing. I think in Belgium they can get it with all, all that stuff, but oh, that is so good. Mmm, this is a treat. I knew it would be a treat. I love doubles. I love quads. I like triples. Mmm, oh, very good. Really? Yep. Well, huzzah for Jim for a change. I found something I like and he doesn't want any. <sighs> Tastes awesome. Tastes terrible, people. Oh, that's so good, man. Mmm. Oh, you don't know what's good. I know what's good. Well, this is good. We're even too similar lately. I'm glad we found something that we can disagree on. Oh, it's a double. D-U-B-B-E-L. Uh, ale brewed with licorice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so let's use a, uh, a script font on a beer bottle. That's great. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Rich, fruity, and aromatic. Burgundian brew. Burgundian. You don't see that adjective too often. Mm. Uh, let's see if I can read the other stuff on here. Infused with Homer Gang's spirit of creativity. Each ale offers perfect balance and pure drinking pleasure. Well, I would have to agree with that. I like this beer a lot. I would buy it. It is very nice. If you like doubles, if you like quads, it has a very Belgian feel. If you like all the subtle nuances of a Belgian beer with, you know, little fruity esters and, uh, you know, some mm, spicy character. Oh, this is like dragon milk almost. No, not dragon milk. Sorry. Uh, golden Drock, except not so foamy. You must have really different tastes than me today. Because that tastes like crap. You don't think it tastes a little bit like Golden Drop? It tastes like crap. Wow, man. I think maybe that uh, sweet pepper, those peppers messed up your palate. Nope. That tastes like crap. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Nope. Nope. Well, David, give us a number. Three. I'm taking you one by it. I would not buy it. I would not drink this at a party. I'd ask for water. <laughs> I will give this an an eight. Very good. Nice. What's wrong with you today? Oh, this is so good. What's what's the matter for you? What's the matter for me? Hey, what's the matter for you? It's it's too much too much of that orange stuff and you know, I, coriander. I hate coriander and beer whenever I have licorice beer. with licorice with orange. They somehow what? the fact that they what? got that stuff in there is amazing to me. I hear coriander and honestly, people, I usually say, well, forget. I'm sweet saying, orange and licorice. You got something sweet and something not sweet. You put them together, it tastes like crap. Sorry, man. Usually, crap. I get something. I hear that those things like coriander and I want to head for Z Hills. Puh. But this, this like tastes like it. Where's my spittoon? Mm. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> okay, I'm okay now. Oh, I got something floating in there, too. Look at that. Yeah, it's crap. <laughs> Don't beat around the bush. Tell me how you really feel. Oh, mm, oh yeah. Mm. Fruity esters. <laughs> I think I had an ant fruity ester, as a matter of fact. You just drink the rest of that whole giant beer there, Mr. 8.2 alcohol by volume. Oh, yeah. It's going to be one of those nice people. We start off with a high ABV. Mm. Watch, two hours, I'm going to be... <laughs> it's terrible, <laughs> man. <laughs> That's just terrible. And did we forget to introduce Puff, the beer cat? Yes, our blue cat. Yes, uh, don't worry. I do the thing on Google where I change the color balance. Because we always seem to come up very blue on the uh, thing. It's because I'm blue now. I didn't get to have any beer yet. Well, that's feeling blue. That's a little bit different. I'm blue, all right. Good Lord, I can't. Uh, when are we doing the next beer review here? I'm already <laughs> ready now. I well, I have a lot more to say. First beer review and I get to have any. Oh, I remember. That sucks, man. Well, I remember that happens. Remember what the crow says, Dave? Yes. The crow says, Oh! Never As more. Too bad. <laughs> Never more. Yeah. Never more. Well, there you yeah. have it. The Jim and Dave beer review. Dave gives it a three. Yeah, I give it an eight. This is Brewery Omega from Coppertown, New York. Abby Ale. It is a double ale. It tastes like it came Crap. from Belgium to me. Sorry. It tastes like it came out of a sewer. Although it's artificial. I'll grant you the long term aftertaste isn't as hot as it would be as if it was from Belgium. Pleh. But uh, still pretty good, I think. So. Hey, Dave, do the disclaimer so you have something to do with this beer. Please do not ever drink. drink this beer. Please do not drink it if you're pregnant. <laughs> do not drink it ever again. Send it to me, James Rettling, <laughs> care of the United States Post Office. Yeah. Right? You got a giant cat in front of you. That's great. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
Hi everyone. I'm a cat guy. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please do not drink and drive, people. Please do not drink if you're pregnant. Please do not operate heavy machinery when you're drinking. The Surgeon General says all this stuff is bad. Bad, okay. Bad. In your arms. Don't drink if you're under twenty one. Don't drink if you're under twenty one. You can drink if you're under twenty one if you're in your arm services. Wink, wink. Not overseas. officially, but if you're in sitting there in France and you're in the army. You can go drink as much as you want when you're eighteen. Yes, in France they have. <laughs> they have people in French France. French bread. Jerry Lewis is a genius. <laughs> I like Jerry Lewis even if he was France did like him. I do not like him. Mm. <laughs> One, look, I'm going up getting that beer now because I need something. No, you don't. You can wait till we're done the beer review. But listen, I'm done the beer review. I'm ready. Turn it off. The reason we do Ten this. Ten minutes. We're 11 minutes. We're going to do far So we believe you should drink great beers. And have a good laugh with your friends with good beer. <laughs> or bad beer. It doesn't matter. With your friends. That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see what that's done to your brain already. It's melting it. <laughs> I'm not it. It's so hot. Bad beer. Bad. Bad beer. Thumbs up from Jim. Oh, man. The first sip I had, I was like, give me get the gym. Yay for me. Oh, no, thank God. I'm glad that happened once for me. Uh, Say bye, Dave. Bye, Dave.